all of that is incorporated inside of this int. And so now, remember the array that we had for the sensor, we could have the same exact array with the data stamp or the timestamp for the UDT servo. So imagine that now we have UDT so servo zero, one, two, three, so on and so forth. And so at this point, we're doing exactly the same thing as we've done before by creating a software queue, which basically means that I want to store all of this information into register zero. Then as soon as that becomes updated, it moves into one, two, three, and I can take as many as I want. The basic math here is if your PLC scan time is five milliseconds, then basically if you have 10 of them, you're able to store for a period of 50 milliseconds. If you have a hundred of them, then it's half a second. And if you have 200 of them, of course, then you should be able to capture all of the data of your scan time of the PLC. Now, the second value of all of this is that you're still polling at the one millisecond level. But remember that I've mentioned to you that in certain cases, that might be way too frequent. So what you're going to be doing is you're creating a data structure that you can pull at a lower interval, but of a larger volume of data basically means that on the other side, whether that's at the edge or whether that at the server or cloud level, you need to create some kind of a process to decipher that information and paste it in the right cells, either in your database or simply discard some of that information, right? So if I get a lot of the values of my sensor and for example, of your server drive or the state of the tank, it doesn't necessarily mean that I need to store each one of those value at this specific interval, there's very basic functions that can filter out if something's not changed or not, it did not change based on a specific delta. So all I'm trying to explain, and I guess in conclusion for this video, is that there are many ways that you can extract data in ways that are more complex depending on your needs. And of course, it is important again to mention that this is not going to be something that you would apply to most systems. This is going to be in edge cases where you have a high speed operation, where your plant is running extremely well and you're starting to have conversations with some of your process folks about optimizing the last one or a couple percentage points. Or if you're talking to a new integrator, if this is a greenfield application and you're trying to understand how to better create something for your facility that makes sense. Or if you're running into some bottlenecks, again, there's a lot of different systems that are going to be off the shelf today they are still installed with polling rates that are simply not suitable